Hey guys, welcome to the Chirping Squirrel. What we got going on today is one of my buddies who likes to cook on one of those electric um, smokers. He's having like 30 people come over tomorrow. He went and fired up his smoker and <laughs> it wouldn't work. So lo and behold, what's he do? He calls us charcoal boys to bell him out. So I want to fire up the UDS. He's going to come over. See if I can show you these here. Uh, look at them bad boys. Got three Boston butts there. Already got the fire going in my in my chimney. And uh, we're gonna start cooking these butts. It's a uh, Tuesday night. Just got home from work, and uh, we might just end up smoking them for about three hours, and maybe he can go put them in his oven after we wrap them. Or if they're going good enough, we'll go ahead and. It'll probably take five to six hours to get these going. We see how it goes. Got us a couple of cold drinks and uh, they building my deck. So I got a little mess out here. Dogs eating everything he can find. Sticks, see that? Look at him. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get this going. He'll be here shortly. When he is, we'll make a little fun of it and uh, get these butts on this ugly drawn smoker. Be back. Here's my peachy boy. pig. Here's the peachy pig. About Just to throw down some cooking. Just the electric grill went out. Airplane going over. Let's throw this in. Let's throw this in fire in the grill. There we go, boys and girls. About getting time to put these here. Butts on. So Mr. Nathan can have his little party tomorrow and not disappoint. Remembering the pit community, we always back each other up. When they go down, we, we there to help. We'll be back. All right, guys, we got our temp up. We're hitting about 250, climbing up to 275. So I'm going to go on and uh, put this in wood in. We're going to smoke it with some cherry. That's all we're using today is cherry. I'm gonna throw some of my bigger pieces around. Woo, that baby's hot. That makes it say Sunday school right there, son. All right. Now I'm gonna put a heat deflector in there. The redneck heat deflector is a pizza pan. That way we ain't getting direct heat up on our meat and burning it. We're gonna take a very clean grill grate. Butts going. We're doing fat cap down because the heat source is coming from the bottom. If the heat source was coming from the top, we would do fat cap up. This is some of Mr. Nathan's secret rub from the peachy pig. We're gonna throw some of that on there. We can get it to come out in these holes. Gotta go to the bigger hole. Slide it on there. You can see where we put that rub on earlier and started pulling that moisture out. That's what you want. All right, I'm gonna pack that bad boy down in there and make sure it sticks good. A little bit, a little bit more right there. All right. There it is, boys. We're gonna let it sit for one hour. We'll be back to spritz. All right, guys, it's been one hour. We're gonna open this up, we're gonna spritz. I've got a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some apple juice and water. We're gonna spritz these butts. We'll probably probe them so we don't have to open it again to probe them. Then uh, we're gonna close it down and keep cooking. Let's do it. They starting to get some good color to them. Look at them bad boys. Yeah, gonna build that bark. dropping my stuff all over. We're gonna go in the fattest part of this here. Gonna go right down to the middle. We're gonna take this probe here. 
Hope this ain't big green air. I'm gonna put it over here on the one that's close to the exhaust. If I see it getting too hot, I don't want to be on that bone. If I see it getting too hot, that bone's right there. I'm gonna put it right there. Then we'll rotate the grate because the heat will be hotter over here next to the exhaust. That's all she wrote, boys and girls. We'll let her come back up to temp. We'll cook away. All right, guys. It's been two hours. Look how pretty them things are. Time to spritz. Nathan had to run home and uh, do some things for his wife. We're going to wet these here uh, butts down. It's starting to crisp up good. You can see the rub's not coming off of my finger. The temperature on these is about 136 on this one, 134 on that one. So this one's running a little bit hotter, but not bad. Two degrees ain't going to hurt none. We want to get these good and moist. Got to keep pumping it up here. I should have did this before I started the video. My apologies. There we go. Get it good and moist. I don't want to be too long with the lid open. I'll lose my temperature. We're going to drop it back down. And I'll see you guys in another hour. And uh, probably be time to wrap about then. We'll see. I'll be back now. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes from the last time you saw me. The peachy pig is back. As you can see, he's holding the, the uh, camera. <clears throat> so I decided I want to go ahead and spritz them because they were getting a little uh, crispy on the last one. So let's go ahead and do that. And as I promised, I would pump it up before I started spritzing last time. There we go. Let's see what we got here. They're reading... 149 internal temp. Ooh, they're looking look at good. That, look at that crisp, huh? They're looking good. Them bad boys are beautiful. Every time you spritz them, you're helping it build bark. I know it don't make sense, but it does. I mean, that, that's set. That ain't going nowhere. When you wrap those, that's what's stay. Mm, delicious. We're going to let these go to... Uh, Probably 165, which is normally where they'll start stalling. And then we'll start, uh, we'll wrap them. Let them finish out the cook. That looks good to me. What about you uh, there, Mr. Peachy Pig? Looks awesome. All right, let's close her down. And you want to throw that sausage on him? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get some salt. He brought some uh, Koneka. Grab this Koneka sausage. I get it out the pack. If y'all ain't never tried this stuff right here, man, it is off the chain. Good stuff. Go get you some. I'm gonna throw it right. Okay, let's break it in half. There you go. Just we'll, put it in the. We'll throw a piece squeeze it in the there. cracks. We'll throw a piece right there. We're gonna get this bad boy shut down. Be a good little snack later on, huh? Yeah, we're gonna have some snacking time later, baby. We're gonna do it up. All right, guys. It's been three hours. We're gonna pull these butts off. We're gonna wrap them. They're right just right at 165 but peachy pig's wife and kids are here and they want to see how the butts look so we're going to open it up we're going to put them in the wrap and we're going to spritz them wrap them up keep the thermometer in y'all ready for this here we go i got tissue because i ain't got any cotton gloves that's my fault Let's see what we got here look how pretty them things are while we're in here we'll flip this sausage over yeah boy look at that our snack. That's our Scooby snack. Let's take this bad boy over here. Alright. We're going to shut the lid down. Let them keep cooking. I want my probe. I'm going to pull it out and stick it in a little bit like this right here. Get it on down in there. You always want to wrap with three pieces of aluminum foil. That way if it tears on the grate, you don't lose the juice. Wrap it over. Just like that. Just like that. Fold it up good and tight. Get it as tight as you can. And come back with this. Fold it up. Fold 
this up, come back over the top, just wrap it around your thermometer like that, like that. See how easy that is? Now we're going to do the other two like this. I ain't going to bore you with it because it's simple. We're going to wrap them up. We're going to put them back on the grill and take them to at least 195. Peachy Pig says 205, but I'm thinking we're going to start seeing how tender they are at 195. Because we know we go by feel on the chirping squirrel, we don't go by temperature. So let's just get us back on the grill. All right, guys, it's been five hours. As you can see, it's dark. It's about 9.30, 9.39, something like that. These butts are done. They're the internal, 195 degrees. We're gonna take them off so that Mr. Peachy Pig can take them home and do his thing with them. Whatever his thing is, we ain't gonna discuss that on TV, you know what I'm saying? Let's get these bad boys off. Man, they smell good. Smell of vision, dude. Wish we had it. If we had smell of vision. You smell that thing. There'd be a billion there. I'm serious. Got the mighty nose. Pour this probe out right here. We can get it out without breaking anything. Man, they soft. You can feel them. That's nothing but juice. Ooh, that's hot. Hollow back, huh? This one ain't got no probe. Let's do it. Man, they tender, dude. They are tender. And, uh... Pull that probe out. Get that bad boy picked up. All right, guys. We're going to try to do a secret reveal of people eating it tomorrow. Since it's not us eating it, it's a group of people. Maybe we'll try to set up a hidden camera. Maybe Peachy Pig's wife can say, hey, we're doing a YouTube video. Please tell us what you think of the food. We'll figure something out and finish this video up. Thank you all for stopping. Please, uh, even if you don't like what I do, if you think I suck, just hit subscribe, man. Help a brother out, you know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing, share it with your friends because this is the real deal. Thank you. We'll see you next time. We out. All right, guys, it's the next day. Mr. Nathan's had his uh, little party, and uh, his wife gave us some feedback. So, Peachy Pig, what did they tell you? Well, they said they loved the barbecue. They asked where Peachy Pig was. <laughs> they thought it was a <laughs> restaurant. It's really not even a restaurant yet. <laughs> but they love the barbecue and they want to know where they can get it at. Yeah. So what do they think about your sauces? They love the sauces. We got we got a sweet sauce. And that is actually homemade. And we got a um, 100 year old recipe from the Carolina type sauce, more vinegar based. I made it non-spicy, but uh, it's a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. Really good. They like both of them. Right. Um, Why don't you try that meat for I'm going to try it for the first time. We're going to see how it is. I'm going to actually try it without the sauce first. Good spoonful. What you think? How'd that ugly drum do? That good stuff? Yeah. Man. Yeah, man. Give me, give me some on it. That is awesome, man. It's awesome. You might have tried this yourself, but I want that Carolina sauce. All right, we'll get you a little of that. Probably didn't need that much, but I can do it without dropping it. Oh my good. god, dude! Good, huh? Man, I didn't try it with that. Let's try it with that man, one. Man, good, smoky. Let's try it with that one. Juicy. Now. I like big spoons. I like big butts. Cannot lie. Oh, God. That's like a whole different world, dude. <laughs> man, that's awesome, man. That's a good stuff. Whole different world, I'm telling you. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I only have to go to my sweet sauce. That's more rib anyway, but yeah. I figure people like salt, sweet sauce. That's money, dude. That, that.